Hey you guys, so in today's video we're going to do a bunch of box showings. This is going to be a huge Barbie haul, so hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. I have some vintage Barbies from 1990, 1991. It's not that old, but it's the dolls that I grew up with. And I wanted to share with you some really cool box showings. This is going to be mostly skiing Barbies and winter Barbie dolls. Ones with the bended snap legs and the bent arms, the big poofy hair. Just a really good quality 90s Barbie, you know what I'm saying? So... Hope you guys enjoy these box showings. I'll let you know where I purchased them from and how uh, how much they were. It was an iffy situation because I bought these a little while back and I don't really remember how much they were. But I bought all of these from eBay and I'll let you know the, the dolls like name that way. If you guys want the doll, I'll let you know the names of the doll. And that way it'll be easy for you guys to find just in case you guys want to purchase these amazing good quality dolls. Um, so first we got Sweet Treats Barbie, and this is, um, what year is she? Is she like 2000 or 1998? So back in 1998, they had a, a Barbie doll with real cake mix and real sprinkles and an, a real functioning spinning thing, you know, the things that she used to mix the cake mix. It's a wind-up one. It's really, really cute. Of course, this is from 1998, and this cake mix is long expired, obviously, but I'm surprised it has no mildew or anything like that, which is great. Um, so back in the day, you guys, Barbie actually came with um, cake mix, which is really, really cool. Isn't that awesome that Barbie came with cake mix? Unlike today's Barbies that come with artificial, you know, muffins, back in the day, you guys, they included a cake mix set, so that way you and Barbie can create cakes together. They have cake molds, they tell you how to make icing in and things like that, which is great. So this is a legit cake mix. I don't know how it works, but it's it's cake mix, trust me that, but it might be microwavable cake mix. I have no idea what the situation is. There's her mixer, her bowl, everything's brand new in the box. Um, some accessories did settle on the bottom, including her measuring spoon. They have really, really cool accessories. And again, if you buy this, you guys, and, and if you intend on opening it, it, do not eat it, you guys. This is way past expired. 1998 for cake mix is expired. This actually works too. It winds up and you get to spin the cake mix. Isn't that awesome? And there's a little mixing bowl. Um, and Barbie is a gingery blonde. She's not like really a platinum blonde. She's like a gingery blonde. A typical 90s Barbie adorableness, right? And she's called Sweet Treats Barbie. Amazing, amazing, good quality, you guys. Brand in the box. I got it for relatively very cheap on eBay. So these dolls tend to be very cheap because the cake mix that is included is expired. So please do not eat this stuff. Just warning you guys. Oh my God, you guys would get so sick. I mean, it might work. Honestly, it might work, you guys. If you mix it and you make it, just don't eat it. Like Play-Doh almost, you know what I'm saying? But she is cute. This is what Barbie used to look like in 1998. Bangs, cute, bended snap legs, and straight arms. I really do miss these Barbies, but this is Sweet Treats Barbie. Very, very cute. Let me know in the, in the comments down below to you guys which one's your favorite in this haul. We have a huge haul for you guys, and I'm so glad that the pictures coming out clear because lately, oh my god, these pictures have been really, really bad. You're getting high definition wrinkles and everything. This is crazy. Okay, we have a lot of ski Barbies coming up, you guys. I'm, I, I should break them down, but I shouldn't at the same time. So back in the day, Barbie, you made a lot of ski Barbies. And back then, there were actually winter clothes on the Barbie. Not just like leggings. Girl, she was like dressed like it was going to snow outside. And this is from 1990, and this is a skiing Barbie, okay? This is like one of them... You know, snow skiing Barbies. We don't have winter time there. Any. We have we have it, but it don't like snow or anything like that. But it's really, really cute. Look at the hair. How cute is she? You can't really see her because she's got so much hair. High definition picture realness is happening. She's got some boots. They always used to have a have a bag in there that was always included. It, it had the shoes and the boots and maybe a hairbrush in there. They always did include a hairbrush back in the day, you guys. And as you can see, she's got a full-on winter boots. She's got the big fluffy coat and the hat, if you guys can see it, hopefully. And she's got this huge bouffant of blonde hair. And as you can see, it's cascaded to the both sides. Because back in the day, they used to split the hair down the middle and have it on both sides. That way, you just have a little bit of box hair, but not too bad. 
They used to make sure this, these dolls were fluffy and just beautiful. And as you guys can see too, she's got the bent arms on both sides. And this girl has a bend and snap uh, leg. She has the bend and snap uh, legs. I love these Barbies. She got the twist and turn waist, big bust, and bend and snap legs, and two bent arms. Because back in the day, these 90s Barbies were amazing, you guys. Such nice quality, too. And the Sweet Treats Barbie, too. I didn't show you the back, but it basically has a little girl making the Sweet Treats um, things, just in case you guys were curious. And this is what she allegedly looks like out the box. And this is one of them situations where back then, the promo fitches were okay, and the Barbie was wow. You know what I'm saying? How cute is she? She's adorable. And I do, I have just taken a shower just in case you guys were curious. And you guys are getting full on 30 year old wrinkles. Hi. But, um, you guys, she is gorgeous. I highly recommend her. This is Winter Fun Barbie from, um, by Mattel. And this is from 1990, just in case you guys were curious. So if you find it on eBay, 1990 Winter Fun Barbie. Ver relatively, very, very cheap on eBay and full on for realness is happening, okay? Definitely. I love doing these videos with you guys because I find these, all these dolls are so amazing, such nice quality compared to the dolls of today. I mean, we had some really much better Barbies in my opinion. Um, so now we have Barbie Ski Fun and she is from, what year? I have no idea. I know I just read the year like two minutes ago because of video prepped. I have no idea, girl. I just read it like two minutes ago. Oh, 1991. So this is 1991 Ski Fun Barbie, see? So that, that one was 1990 and then 1991. They went all out with the colors and the hair. The hair was a little bit straighter, but it was wavier. And she does have the snap uh, legs, the twist and turn waist, the bent arms on both sides. Long, glamorous blonde hair. I love a good blonde haired Barbie, don't you guys? I love these Barbies. Just, oh my God. Such nice quality, you guys. She has no glue in the head. Just, these dolls were definitely a 10 out of 10 perfection, definitely. This is called Ski Fun Barbie. And she's from 1991. Look how gorgeous she is. Look at the colors, though. The colors compared to that one and this one. Oh my god. This is like insane blonde realness. And the eyes are not wonky, you guys. I mean, just they were such nice quality. Like when I was growing up, this is what they looked like, and they were amazing. Everybody wanted a Barbie because they were such nice quality. And back in the day, this was $7.96. This is $7.96 at the local, at a local store, too. That's crazy. Look, you got all of this for $7.96. A Barbie with accessories, ski poles, and a full-on real outfit. And both of these girls have real, like, cottony type jumpsuits. Like, that's the great part about it. And then we got Malibu Barbie. Okay, I was on eBay. This is what it's. This is what started off this whole thing. That Olympic Malibu Barbie that I that I remember that one that I showed you guys. That's what started this whole thing. And I found out that they made a the sports set Sun Valley Malibu Barbie in a similar outfit to them. Let me get it right. She's brand new in the box, you I was so happy to find her brand new in the packaging. And she's called uh, Sun Valley Malibu Barbie. I don't know what year she's from. She's from 1973, Sun Valley Malibu Barbie. And this might bring back a lot of memories for you guys. This is Malibu Barbie. Look how cute. And she's got a little ski set, which is amazing. And she's brand new in the packaging. Now, the packaging is a little bit crusty. I'm going to be honest with you. It's a little dry, maybe attic-y type storage situation you can kind of see her that's malibu barbie doesn't she look cute and she's got her original barbie tag she's got all of her skis in here she's got a mask and a full-on fur coat thing happening right there which is really really cute and they have actual real material which is great so this is the sports sets and they had just basic um packaging you guys back in the day this is how barbie used to be packaged it's so crazy how they changed the packaging this is the packaging of like clone dolls of today. Today's clone dolls look like this. You know what I'm saying? This was a Barbie doll package way back when. And she's completely different from, I think, Olympic Malibu Barbie. Completely. 
just in a sense that not as dramatic makeup. She's got the cellophane around her head, so she's pretty much made in the box. Now, this is a, like a crease that somebody did, apparently. And she's got some kind of, you know, structural damage right here. She may be a box opening in the future, but for right now, she's going to be in her little box. I think she's gorgeous, and she's got just very minimal, if any, scuffing. I mean, she's in really good condition, surprising that. And she's called Sun Valley Malibu Barbie. And, and then she's from 1973. So 1973 Sun Valley Malibu Barbie. If you guys are looking for her. Um, they are relatively expensive. This one especially being in new in box. They are expensive. I'm going to be honest with you. Like those three were kind of cheapy. Those, th that doll in particular was very, very expensive. Now... For Barbie Andy Warhol, this is something that, it's all of these dolls to you guys. I tweeted about this. No, I didn't tweet it. I Instagrammed this because I have an Instagram, you guys. And I showed you guys what was coming up on this channel. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you have seen all of these really cool outfits, right? And I don't post many pictures of myself, mostly Barbie. So I hope you guys like this. And this was um, $54 from Walmart.com. This was very, very expensive. This is a designer-ish type doll now i know nothing about andy warhol nor am i a fan i don't know his work i like the barbie itself and how mattel and andy warhol may have collaborated and made this beautiful doll i like the doll i like the barbie i don't know who andy warhol is i know he's like a famous painter of some kind i bought the doll because i thought she was beautiful so they have them two collaborating they made this really cool doll and I do appreciate this Barbie doll itself. I mean, she's gorgeous. I mean, when they collaborated, they made this really gorgeous doll. So let's take a look at her. This is Andy Warhol Barbie doll. This is the one, I think she was very, very expensive too. She's got a model muse body, which is strange. And if you don't know what a model muse body, it's basically she's in this permanent, you know, kickstand pose, like a mannequin basically. And she's got that one foot out basically a stiff mannequin body she's got a posable head and she's got articulated arms which is so weird to me like she's got ball joints on her elbow and on her wrist and on her shoulders so she's got a jointed um two arms and she's got a model muse body that is so strange to me this is gonna be a box um showing because i mean she's gorgeous why would you want to take this gorgeous doll out of her packaging and of course, she's got a lot of gel. And she's got the superstar face, which is great. I love these kind of vintage face face type Barbies. This is the decade that I remember the dolls being. I mean, the full-on furness of it all. I mean, this is artificial fur, obviously. This looks to be like some kind of polyester, you know, really cheapy fabric, but done in a good way kind of situation. Like, they can use cheap fabric, you guys. Like, honestly, if you do it right, it comes up so so great but when they do it wrong it's just so wrong but honestly she is gorgeous look at that cute little face even the okay this necklace right here so she's got a um, pair of diamond earrings she's got a necklace and she's got a ring right here right just like they used to come a long time ago and as you can see she does have a jointed wrist elbows and at the um shoulder joint so she reminds me a lot of superstar barbie when they did the um um what was it the um super size one superstar barbie if you guys remember that where they had like the little medallion thing in the, in the earrings and everything she's very reminiscent of that i have to t tell you that as far as jewelry is concerned so she was 54 dollars from walmart.com i do remember the pricing so if you guys are a fan of andy warhol definitely pick this up i'm personally not a fan of andy warhol nor do i know who he is but this barbie itself is gorgeous them two collaborating, they made something really magical, and I do love this head to toe look. Even she's got a pair of blue pumps underneath there, it's hard to be able to tell, but she does have a little slit down here if you guys can see that. And she got a pair of blue pumps, which is great. So she does have like that Angelina Jolie thing happening with the slit and the pumps and things like that. And she is a Barbie Collector Gold Label, okay? So she's a gold label girl. I got it from Walmart.com. Not one dent, not one scratch, no packaging. You know how Walmart does like the labels and stuff like that? They never did none of this with this doll. And I'm so grateful to have her in my collection. She's gorgeous. So let me know which one's your favorite in the comments down below. And just remember to like and subscribe and you'll see more doll videos. Bye. I hope you guys enjoyed the haul, okay? 
and let me know in the comments down below if you want to see any doll, you know, up close and personal and you want me to do this one doll, this one video, okay? Let me know if you want to see any of them up close and personal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got any questions, any comments, leave them down below. Bye-bye.